Okay, so you just finished reading a chapter in AdWords for Dummies that talked to, talks about best practices and that you should always have separate campaigns for search and display and mobile devices and you should even have different campaigns for different countries and you've I know that you haven't heard this just from Howie Christie and myself you've also heard it from other gurus Perry Marshall Dan Thies anyone Brad Geddes Richard Stokes they all say this but I know what you're thinking this sounds like a lot of trouble I mean after all when you set up your account you you were very disciplined and you set up a campaign let's say it, for example it was supplements and in that campaign you've got a dozen or two different ad groups that are all very tightly targeted towards men towards women towards prenatal supplements children's supplements senior supplements in each of those ad groups you've got hundreds if not thousands of keywords and and I would be willing to bet that you're very intimidated at the process of going and redoing all of that hard work just to separate search from content. I mean, come on, content network's probably working okay for you, right? You probably don't need to separate it. And I'm here to say that you do absolutely need to separate it. But I want to show you a 60-second solution that can do all of that in 60 seconds it is so easy you're gonna be hitting your head on your desk wondering what took you so long to get this done because you will have a cleaner account that will run better it will be more efficient it will lower your cost per conversion it will enable you to get more leads or sales and it can all be done in about 60 seconds so with that I want to show you the concept of campaign cloning and it basically allows you to clone campaigns so that you can just subtly tweak them so that you can have those best practices that you know you need to have in place but have been putting off because it sounds like too much trouble so I'm, I'm going to show you inside of 60 seconds how you can get that done so let's go back and review what we're gonna have you do I'm gonna show you how you can take that one campaign that is currently advertising for search display mobile devices different countries and I imagine you've got it all just sitting in that one account so for example if we go back and look at the settings of this campaign you'd see that you're targeting all countries and territories that's not a great practice you're targeting all networks you should separate search from content and you're targeting both you're targeting um, all devices and let me tell you mobile devices perform extremely different mobile and tablets ex perform extremely differently from desktops in some cases they perform better in some cases they perform worse all of those are good reasons that you want to separate into separate accounts but again that sounds pretty intimidating right so let's get out of AdWords itself because AdWords isn't where you're gonna do this we're gonna do this in AdWords editor so I've got the exact same account loaded up I've got my one campaign of supplements notice that it's got all of the same ad groups that I already had and um, I'm go and they're they're all proven they're all working and they've been doing fine but you know I, I don't know if they've been doing good in the US or in Canada or in the UK or in Australia or China who knows oh yeah and one last thing I need to do before I start the stopwatch is I'm gonna label this as the US since this campaign is currently targeting only the search network and it's only targeting the United States it's no longer targeting all countries so I'm gonna label it as such uh, by just appending a US to the campaign name so we're gonna hit start and now I'm gonna go back up here I'm gonna paste paste twice so I've cloned that campaign two times and I'm gonna change it to display and I'm gonna change this to mobile I'm gonna come back up to display I'm gonna scroll on down here and I'm gonna turn on the display network I'm gonna turn off the search network I'm now gonna go down to mobile to the devices section I'm gonna turn off computers and I'm gonna turn on mobile devices and tablets and I'm done 
Now I paused the stopwatch because technically I'm not totally done. I now have to also clone for uh, different countries. But the reason I did these first two steps first was because now I have three different campaigns in the US. One is for search, one is for display, with adjustments slightly tweaked to match and one is for mobile with again with uh, things slightly tweaked to match and please also note that I only cloned mobile devices in the search network it's been my experience that the display network doesn't work very well at all for mobile devices so I don't use mobile devices in the display network at all whether I'm advertising in display or not but anyway uh, that was just a side note so now that I've done all of that now is when I want to clone all three campaigns by shift clicking and highlighting all three and then I'm going to change that to the U to Australia and Canada and so on so I'll just show you uh, an example with Australia and then you can wash rinse and repeat for different countries after you've seen how we do this okay let's hit the continue button and now I'm going to want to paste those new campaigns and I'm going to change those from US to Australia in the campaign name and then I have to do one last thing I have all three Australia campaigns highlighted and I'm going to go down here and change it to Australia and I'm done so there we have it I've cloned the campaign so that I can separate them with best practices in mind. I'm targeting only the US and the search network. I'm targeting only the display network in the US. And then I'm targeting only the mobile people searching on mobile devices which have entirely different behaviors than when they're searching on computers. And I'm targeting that in the US only. And then I took those three results, I cloned them into Australia. And then all I had to do after I did that was just change it to Australia. So notice that my Australia campaign is targeting only the search network. All of those settings have been cloned. I'm targeting only computers. I'm not targeting the display network. And, and I am targeting Australia. Likewise, my mobile campaign in Australia is the search network only, display is off, and mobile devices and tablets are all I'm targeting. Notice that I am not targeting desktop and laptop computers in that campaign. So all of my settings, all of my ad groups, notice that if I drill down on into the ad group level, all of those hundreds of ad groups have been cloned. Um, and all of the keywords within those ad groups have been cloned, all of the settings, everything. Uh, so that's a really easy way that you can go and clean up your account and start to get a lot more out of your AdWords dollars. So I hope this lesson will get you closer to running a cleaner, more efficient AdWords account that is going to put more dollars in your pocket or uh, keep less money than necessary going out of your pocket. The next thing I'd like to show you in another video is a process we call Operation Camouflage and that's where you can actually use campaign cloning to not only hide from your competitors but actually kind of play with them and make them think that you're bidding entirely differently than you really are. So go ahead and scroll down that video should be lower on this page and we'll show you a video called Operation Camouflage next.